Ah, sorry, in the context of the, the promotion running, how big was that goal the other night? It was uh, again massive as uh, the goal, like the goal when we scored against uh, Wool. But the uh, last, uh, last game, I was uh, uh, happier because, uh, especially the way that we scored the goal, because against Hull, I said after the game that we were, we were lucky because uh, after that game, uh, I felt that the the first score should have been uh, a draw because uh, we weren't better than than Hull. But it's true that the against Reading and they had a, a chance uh, two or three minutes before our goal, but we had a lot of chances to to score the second and the third. Goals of our reason, I was really pleased, always uh, because we won the game, but uh, especially in the way that we we won that uh, that game. Steve Bruce has spoken to us this morning and, and says effectively that result has ruled Hull out of contention for automatic promotion. And um, given that Hull are the only game, team that have played a game less than everyone in in the race for promotion, does that effectively mean that for automatic promotion it's now a three horse race? No, not for me because uh, again everything can change in, in a week because uh, with three games uh, again everyone's expecting that we're going to beat the uh, bottom easy which is a big mistake uh, then we go to Burnley then uh, we have to play against the Ipswich at home so no easy uh, easy game and again it's uh, I've been here there for two years but uh, if you look back uh, Three four weeks, 92 minutes uh, against Hull, we were with the same points. Now we are uh, 12. But uh, that game, for example, when we were we played against Hull, uh, Burnley was playing against the Wolves, and 92 minutes we were nine points below them. So it's just uh, three weeks ago. For a reason, this league is always uh, difficult. And for a reason, I I would say that uh, Hull is going to be involved till till the end because the fixtures are not uh, difficult. Do you understand why? Everybody outside of this club seems to view this fixture against Bolton as an easy fixture. Mm, because I think it's uh, obviously because uh, we are in a really good moment. Uh, they are not in a, a good moment. They are uh, recently relegated, so I can understand them. But uh, again, it's the kind of uh, games uh, which are more difficult because uh, this season, and I think it's good for us at this moment that we uh, we can learn what happened uh, against Rodham, what happened against Charlton, what happened against Bristol when they were at the bottom three at that moment. So we've learned and I hope we've uh, learned from, from those moments and uh, now we know that it's going to be a difficult game. Having won five in a row then, how do you make sure and guard against any complacency that the players might have and undo all that kind of work? I think I told you that the best lesson that we can learn is that the, the games that we played against the, the bottom teams in the in the past, so for a reason, and now we are in a really good uh, moment. So we have to to keep going, and uh, we have to to know that it's a, a really, really good uh, opportunity to, for us to to keep going. Is it a big advantage to, to play first and get points on the board, put more pressure on Burnley and Brighton? Uh, maybe yes, because uh, well, again, it's always uh, about our moment because uh, we are really good for the reason. To play before can be a, a, a advantage, but uh, for example, we played uh, last Tuesday, and uh, Brighton had played. I know it's not the same fixture, but they had played on Monday, and they scored. And uh, for us, uh, could have been a, a little bit pressure, but, and the team was uh, really good for the reason. I think last season was uh, was difficult because uh, I remember now when when we played against uh, Fulham, Watford had uh, won uh, the game. And uh, we felt that pressure, and uh, we couldn't beat uh, Fulham. But I think this season uh, we are really confident, and uh, we have again better squad and uh, more mature. And since you mentioned last season, how much are you able to learn from that experience and take into this position that you find yourself? Always, uh, you can learn, and uh, we've learned a lot of things. Uh, one thing was to to bring players with uh, more experience. Uh, other thing is that we have now. More experience, and uh, for the reason I was on the on the pitch on uh, on Tuesday, and I was really calm because uh, uh, the atmosphere was uh, under pressure. The players sometimes uh, were under pressure, and I was uh, thinking about me. I said, "I told you, you have to manage this game. As if uh, this game is in, in February, because 
I have to keep calm. I have to try to do the substitutions as if I were uh, calm because uh, as a manager you have to to try to be calm. Were you calm? Were you calm? Yeah, it was calm. I was calm because uh, I think it was the, the only way to, to manage that game. Because uh, against Preston it was difficult and uh, it was uh, much more uh, nervous. But uh, against uh, Reading it was <coughs> calm knowing that we could win the game, we could lose the game, we could uh, draw the game. But uh, again, as a manager, and I've been just, I've been just a manager for two years, I have to, to learn to manage the games in, in, that, uh, in that way. And just finally from me, in terms of team news, is everybody you'd expect to be available available for this game? Yes, it's, uh, again, it's about the, how tired they, they are, because again, it's not 90 minutes, and especially the, the game on Tuesday war, uh, was much, much more difficult than uh, just 90 minutes, uh, speaking about the fitness point of view. So I have to speak with them uh, today, they are off, but uh, tomorrow with the doctors and uh, check all of them. I thought you say you have learnt from those defeats you mentioned against Rotherham and Charlton. So what what have you learnt going ahead into this game at Bolton? Not just me, I think uh, all of us <coughs> learnt what happened. And uh, the main thing is to to go to the, the game thinking that it's going to be a really difficult game. Because uh, again, it's, uh, the normal thing is that uh, we can uh, we are going to win because we are better than them, we are in much better moment uh, than, than them. But again, if you arrive and uh, they have a chance and they score, or you have a lot of chances and you don't score, it's going to be a problem. So our reason is the, a game which is uh, 90 minutes or 94, so we have to, to know that we are better than them and we have to try to, to score. But again, if we score at the first minutes, perfect. If we score at the last, it's not a problem. So you said Hull are still in that promotion race for automatic for an automatic place. You've obviously studied the fixtures, remaining fixtures for all four teams. Do you <coughs> feel that Middlesbrough have the the easiest or the hardest of the run-ins? I have a, a problem because I just look at the at the fixtures. My fixture is Bolton, so I look at their fixtures and uh, uh, Bolton. Uh, Bolton uh, sorry, uh, Brighton, Burnley, and Hull fixture. But uh, when I look at my Fixtures, I just uh, look at bottom, so I forget what is going to happen after bottom. I mean, there's a lot of excitement generating. I know you know that. As I, I think you're hinting, it's all about you keeping very calm now. Yes, because I think it's the the way. Because uh, I can understand the crowd. Because uh, to be in this position is amazing for them. I've been here for two years, but uh, every single not every single game, but uh, with uh, We've lived uh, a lot of uh, good moments in, in two years, and for a reason, it's, uh, it's good for, for me to arrive, uh, for example, last uh, Tuesday. And the question was if uh, that, win had, that game had been the, the best uh, game or the, the nicest game, and uh, I said it was, but uh, one, two weeks before, we had, uh, had another moment. Uh, two months before or three months we had another one. So it's the, the good thing that we are having a lot of good moments and we have to, to keep going. You need four wins to guarantee promotion. Is it your hope, expectation that you're going to that final game against Brighton with the results irrelevant because you've already crossed the line? Yeah, we need just three points on Saturday. After uh, Saturday we have uh, another three points against Burnley but uh, my 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 job, my work this uh, days is to, to work about uh, Bolton and then after Bolton we have another game but no, uh, because uh, again it's impossible to think that we are going to get in Premier League when we play against Brighton because uh, if uh, someone is thinking something like that it's uh, because uh, they don't know the, the league or they don't know something for the reason I know the league not too much because I've been here for two years but they know that it's going to be really really difficult.